guys, it's me Steven and welcome back to the channel. Last week I thought I was onto a winner by putting exposing in the title. That's the usual then. But before we start, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button with notifications on to help me get to 1k by June, which will mean I have to dye my hair pink for summer in the city in August. Pointing out of the way, this won my Twitter poll yesterday, so here's five stupid things that we all do. Number five, count how much sleep we'll get. I don't know anyone my age who can fall asleep instantly, least of all me. But for some reason, once I get into bed, I'm like Sherlock Holmes, calculating exactly how much sleep I'll get if I fall asleep right in that instant. Right, it's 11.56, literally the end of the day. Need to be up at 7. So I've got 7 hours and 3 minutes and 26 seconds. 25 seconds. 24. 23. Me too. Nobody's ever fallen asleep after doing this. It's never happened. Mostly because your mind is still active and you've continued the countdown in your head. Why do we do this? It doesn't help us to sleep. It just terrifies us because we're still counting down and now we've only got five hours left and we're going to hate ourselves in the morning. Number four, lose all sense of yourself once your voice is recorded. Doesn't matter whether it's singing or talking, hearing your voice back is freaky as shit. Apparently you hear your own voice in a higher pitch than other people do as well. I feel like my videos now have a lot more inflation in them, but if I film late at night or I'm tired, I can still hear that dull, monotonous tone that plagued all of my old videos. So many of those old videos are private now because watching them killed me. I used to think I was speaking with perfect inflection in my sentences, and then I'd rewatch it and hear this. This is the first video of my solo on the side channel. That is rank. I'm not even talking about that ridiculous haircut. Number three, skip the same song every time you listen to music. I've got a massive playlist on Apple Music, but for some reason when I'm listening to it, I always skip the same five songs. Uma Thurman by Fall Out Boy, Good Girls, Bad Guys by Falling in Reverse, Eddie's Song by Son of Dork, Better Off Without You by Mallory Knox, and Starboy by The Weeknd. But do I ever delete them? No. You know you can over-listen to songs and then you have to ignore them solidly for about a year just so you can stomach hearing them again. Yeah, that's not what happened with these songs. But for some reason I just can't bring myself to delete them from my playlist. I mean, I'd like to say I'm better off without them, but I can't. Okay, maybe I over-listened a bit. Number two, act too innocent when you've done nothing wrong. This is normally whenever you're sober and there's police around. Maybe you're walking around or you're at a train station and you're like... It's alright, Stephen, you're fine. You've done nothing wrong. I mean, you smoked a tea bag in year eight, but they can't know about that. Bloody hell, it's a bit hot. I'm feeling lightheaded. That guy looks pretty guilty, right? Guilt is literally written all over his face. I knew hiding in plain sight was a lie. And finally, number one, pretending to look at something in a shop, even though you know you can't afford it. Though this might not apply to some of the ballers out there, I, I can't get away with ballers, can I? It's when you see something that looks really nice, and then you look below and see the price tag, it's heartbreaking. It's even worse when the shop that you're in is your own bedroom. Wait, what? I wish you'd stop the fourth wall breaks. Aren't we from the last one? You could just turn around and walk straight back out of there. The shop assistant knows that you can't afford it. You're not fooling anyone. But instead, we choose to act as if we're seriously considering buying the product. Hang on lads, I'll just get Ocean Finance on the phone. Aye, can I have a grand? And in the end, you have to do the real walk of shame, turning around and walking straight back out of that shop without the item you so desperately crave. Well, most of the time. It's great. I'm just going to take it. Stop. Leave it on the shelf. My puns aren't just bad. The shit. I wasn't sure if I could end this video with a pun, and then I thought, screw it. It's my channel. Of course I can. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave me a like down below because it really helps me out. Comment down below if you do any of these stupid things and we can create like a little support group. I know they say puns are the lowest form of comedy, but at the end of the day, that's light entertainment. So make sure to click the button in the middle to subscribe to my channel with notifications on and help me to get to 1,000 subscribers. Click on the box on the left of the screen to go see my most recent upload and click on the box on the right to go and see five things we all do on a night out. I'll see you next Wednesday.